Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Krista Elisha, Oxford, Ohio. 2023, a year of epic proportions. 2023 shall be a year of epic proportions. You will journey through Psalm 23 leading into 24. It will be the Psalm 24 door where my people shall occupy. It will open up the ancient gates to experience me as the King of Glory. This will be a season where you will witness long-awaited prophetic promises coming to pass. You will witness the knowledge of my glory covering the earth as water covers the sea. It will bring in global harvest in the midst of global shakings. This is a season of rapid kingdom advancement, regional occupation, spiritual maturity, destiny deployments, mega moves, and throne room worship. There will be sovereign moves of God that will occur this year that will be so noteworthy. Movies, documentaries will be made about them. Just as the transforming of reformers, that they are powered by my head being the head over them. Be aware that the battle for many in this season will be against their mind. It is imperative that my people take captive every thought. Every high and lofty thought that rises itself against the knowledge of Christ, you must force it into submission to me. Decree that you have my mind, my heart, my imaginations. Declare that you think God thoughts and have God ideas. Be intentional to not lean on your own understanding, nor trust in man's report, but trust in me. For this is a season of great change and great hope. This is a generation that was created for conflict and born for battle. I have called you, I have equipped you to arise and occupy, says the Lord. Let's pray into this word together. Lord Jesus, it does feel like we are we are living through epic times. Lord Jesus, it feels like the enemy is is on display in a greater measure than we have ever seen before. Certainly it's more public. Certainly more people can sense something's off. Even folks that aren't in the body of Christ, people know something's not quite right. Lord, I thank you that you have created my friend for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you that you've created me for such a time as this. Lord Jesus, may we together in our spheres of influence, may we bring hope to a a lost and dying world. May we help to impact change. May we arise and occupy, Father, where you would have us. Jesus, I pray right now over the thought life, the thought life of many in the body of Christ right now, myself included, Lord. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that we can trade our lowly thoughts for your high thoughts, that we can cast down thoughts. When the enemy whispers in our ear, we can take that thought captive. We do that verbally. We say, enemy, you are no longer allowed to whisper in our ears. Father, where our flesh has been weak and we've gotten lazy, we repent. And Father, I thank you that we get to live. We get to live in these these epic times. And Father, may we do your will for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.